soccer balls! <laughs> and the national finals, rich and popular people are fighting it out. Pay attention, the country is in mourning. And most importantly, sportswear. We talked to a fitness expert about the crucial role of endorsed clothing. And who could forget to visit the greatest He's in the shadows. There he is. Is he going to make it? Yes, he did. Ladies and gentlemen, what you have just witnessed is the biggest moment in world history. Who cares about a declaration of independence or a discovery of penicillin? You have just seen one man score a point. When the rest of the world discovers TV, they'll be able to see this. Wow, isn't that amazing? He did what he was paid to do. We love sports, Gordon. Love it or loathe it, let's talk about it. Stay tight and... Let's go to the Wolves. Yeah, the Wolves! Hey, Derek, my name's Jason, and I'm a Wolves fan. First time caller. I don't vote, I can't be bothered. But I will kick your ass if you disrespect my sports team. <laughs> okay, the Wolves, that's team playing sports as if they care. Yeah, the Wolves! I don't care who's sleeping with who on the team. Yeah, I'm with you, buddy. Okay. Hey, let's take another call. Who's on the phone? Hello, caller. You're on with the tight end of radio. Hey, I'm a big Olympics fan. Always have been. Since day one. Been to every one. Me too. I love the games, especially the luge. Ah, I'm married, so uh, sliding down an icy tunnel of doom at high speed makes sense. Yeah, I know about frigid action myself. I mean, they gotta be kidding me, because what is running been an Olympic sport? Running ain't a sport. Don't make me puke. Anyone can run. My ex-wife made me an athlete. I ran my ass off when the Red Baron flew into town. I tell you, when I was a kid, there were only three sports that mattered. Football, baseball, and killing communists. And uh, I had a great childhood, really great, even if my uncle did come into my room that late at night for <laughs> anyway, look, who's on the line? We got a Caledonian fan on the line. Tough times, huh? Hey, uh, your whole life revolving around rich men playing poorly. Man, I totally identify with Caledonian. If they don't score more points than the other team, they can't win! Yeah, man. God, you have some spooky insights into sports, dude. I love you. You're so much stuff. You know, you got a job with a name, man. Move! It's a urinal trough in front of each row of seats. Now, it's so inconvenient having to leave your seat, make everyone stand up, get up, get up. You know, to, to let you by, then go stand in line for the bathroom. I mean, half the time we can barely walk anywhere.
hits morning. people with protrusions as he pollinates on everyone. But why does it think so bad? It's about marking your territory, my man. You don't mark your territory, do you? You should try it. Pee on the front door of your office. Just see if anybody thinks of coming near you. Okay, I, I'll, I would try that. Thank you so much for the advice, Marie. Oh, I'm here to help, sailor. Gardening with Maurice, only on WCTR. Bombing. I'm running on air. I'm walking on clouds. I don't exercise. I don't care. Bombing. I paid top dollar for these incredible high-technology polyester shoes to walk around the mall and shop for more sports equipment I won't play sports in. Bombing. I need to... Really pump up. That's right. You can now buy some air. The science of sports and marketing results in a shoe that pumps. Sounds silly to you? What if we told you that Aeros Pump Up would improve your game by 300%? But I don't have a game. You gotta have a game. Be a winner. Pump Up and Slam Dunk. Oh, yeah. God, the size of your shoes. You'll shave seconds off your personal best. Oh, yeah. You mean I can whack off even more times a day? Uh, absolutely. Probably five times more. Because you'll be walking on air. You'll feel so much more athletic after pumping up your shoes, you'll automatically lose weight and feel high tech, just like the sports stars. You are a star. Now you're a winner with air in his shoes. Now I can reach for the stars. I've pumped up my ego. Pump it. Pump it up with Eris. If you're into exploring exotic places and forbidden fruit, stay tuned. It's The Wild Traveler, next. Support for The Wild Traveler is brought to you by the Ultimate Disc in the Dark Association of America, who encourages you to get out and play hard. Hello, I'm James Batista, World Traveler. This is The Wild Traveler. We're discussing the world and all of its many pleasures. Let me put it like this. Why have a hot dog from an uncaring vendor by the bathroom when you can attend a beer-guzzling marathon in Germany with enormous men and taste of wonderful German's forced? The world is full of incredible things, and you can discover them for yourself. Come along, I'll take you there. It was dusk, and the sun bled red over the city in Thailand, as Chen brought me a sparkling water. A delicate, handsome, lovely young boy. The world was But war is folly, and we can only unite by visiting these epochs of culture, where a man can be himself, smoke cigarettes, dress in gladiator clothing if he likes. We mustn't force our way and culture upon other peoples. Rather, breathe it in. I'm part of it. Maybe Hemingway was right about love. Maybe Freud was. We're all fighting inside to let a wild creature mate on the way. I travel, therefore I am. This is a show that embraces culture from around the world. Let's take our first call. Yeah, I totally agree with you about Australia. And you're right, the moon is shit. Also, I was thinking of visiting Columbia. Do you have any recommendations? Oh, yes, fantastic forms of recreation to be had in Columbia. It's a blizzard of excitement. Sheep? The rails are great. Long. Bolivia's not bad either. Or Peru. You'll be surprised to find out how the party never stops. How's the food? Well, a lighter is the most you need to cook up food. But there's scarcely time to eat, my boy. You'll meet fascinating people, feel so comfortable, you'll rip your clothes off and howl for days. Next caller. Yeah, hi. My name's Geraldine calling from Casa City. This is such a great country. Why would you go anywhere else? It's unpatriotic to travel. I mean, I got war, famine, depression, and pollution right here on my doorstep. And parents, don't let kids go a rail after college. They'll come back with ludicrous misconceptions about helping charity and civilization. Europe is not the real world. This is. Well, I love to slum about in a dirty youth hostel with communal showers as much as the next man. War. But I have to agree, Europe is overrated. Eastern Europe was good for a few years after the wall came down, but even there the police are too strict. You just can't let your hair down. There are far more unexplored pleasures to be had in the Far East. Next caller, you're on the Wild Traveler. Hey, I've been listening to you go on and on about traveling. Do you know how expensive it is to fly to Asia? Russia saw the light. They're all coming here to set up fine families and run numbers. 
South America, everyone went extinct there. They have less culture there than the contents of my toilet bowl. Rainforest, Schmain Forest. And Mexico, if I wanted to be that close to my ancient ancestors, I'd be banging my mother-in-law instead of my wife's best friend. Look, we can fight like beasts or agree to disagree. I'm sure the summit of your aspirations in life is a cheerleader with fake guns, but some of us think a little more exotically than this. Next caller, vamos, buenos dias and noches. If you don't smile, I won't deep harder. Sorry, got lost for a second. Speak. Hey, I love this show. I'm a huge fan. I visit all the places you recommended, and in a lot of them, they're still talking about you. I even saw posters of you in the customs booth at the airport in the Philippines. You rock! And no doubt, I love Manila. It's a great time. But that show you did last week? What was the name of that spiritual center in Bangkok? The Wild Dragon's Happy Ending. Very spiritual. You will find it at peace. Awesome! I can't wait! Thanks, man! Yes, we all love to travel. Get away from it all. Get away from the people with computers and their databases. The police harassing you for doing nothing. I just hate showing up to some place to enjoy myself when people are being forced from their homes by war or famine or whatever. Life is great! Stop ruining it! Next caller. Hey, uh, the FBI wants to talk to me about a perfectly innocent collection of vacation photographs overseas that I had no idea would be taken. I mean, any ignorant fool can misinterpret. I, I was teaching them how to swim. I have a lot of experience with this. I want you to stop for a moment and let me read from my travel journal. I think everyone should keep a journal, paste pictures, notes. Sometimes people object to you taking their picture, but a few pennies of their local currency will make a form of you. Some people think this is patronizing, but I think it is fair enough. They need the money and I need the company. Besides which, it is the oldest profession. What? Oh, time for me to head south again. I'm James Pediston, and this has been The Wild Traveler. This is WCTR, committed to bringing you shows like The Wild Traveler, the show that takes you around the world and abandons you at the airport. There's a gritty new show this season on Weasel, where the law is the drama, and the drama is the law. What the hell did you go to law school for? I haven't changed at all! I was always over-competitive and shallow! I have a disabled brother I pretend doesn't exist! I only married you because you've got great guns! Law. Catch it Thursdays on Weasel before it catches you. It's a favorite show with serial killers and stalkers. Lonely Hearts is next. All through the sultry anonymity of night and some of the day, you're on Lonely Hearts on WCTR, West Coast Talk Radio. Or as I like to call it, we can't talk right. I love you all. I'm your host, Christy McIntyre. Let's go to the phones. Hi, Christy, my wife, and I love your show. It really helps. Aw, thanks. Do you want to tell us about it? Uh, no. Okay. Jenny on the line from Santa Maria. Hi, Jenny. How's your heart? Broken. Like my arm and two of my ribs. What happened? I married my childhood sweetheart, but it all went wrong. He's become a drunk, and he has a substance problem, too. And now he beats me every day. Stay with him, honey. After all, you're only lonely when you're alone. But he keeps threatening to kill me. Jenny, do you know the meaning of the phrase homewrecker? No. What about selfish bitch? I want to bring people together, not break them apart. Who's on the phone? It's a big, lonely state out there. Get on, Mary. I'm watching you right now in the shower. Notice how many lonely hearts are lunatics? You wonder why my heart is not. Ryan from Las Venturas. Hey, dude. My name's Ryan. I'm calling you Las Venturas. Don't want to talk about the heart. Why do men just want to keep back what you say and never listen? Are you brain dead, Brian? Oh, actually, it's ironic that you say that. It's just my wife's been brain dead for years. Oh, so sorry. I seemed all insensitive for a second there, possibly. Would it help if I slept with you? Oh, probably not, dude. No, she wouldn't even notice with me. I get away with it all the time now. Even after I did it with her sister. Actually, our relationship is better than ever. I mean, the passion is amazing. It's like I'm a new person each time. If she was back to the way she was before the accident, wow, I'd put her in a coma myself. I mean, it's fantastic. That's very informative. You know, honestly, I'm going to be to be dead. Then I watch my five uncles. God, I'd love to live in the house. Remember, a heart can mend, but a divorce lasts forever. Unless he makes you a widow. Hello? Yeah, hello, Lonely Hearts. Uh, I was just calling up there because I was listening and I figured out, you know, that I can help.
help out some of y'all clients. You know, this is none other than Jizzy, the proprietor of the Pleasure Domes Club. If anybody is out there lonely, first of all, with all the people on this planet walking around, there's no reason for anybody to be lonely. You understand? That's why I'm in the business of killing people with comfort. You know what I'm saying? People who got low self-esteem, they need to pick me up, they need to come down to the Pleasure Dome, hang out with me, Jizzy, and my girl. Beef movement. Both Hitler and Mussolini were vegetarian. And we take on the highly charged debate about test tube babies and actually talk to one. I have flashbacks. Go to hysterics and science class. Do you know what it's like growing up with a speaker? <laughs> That's all today on I Say You Say. saw today's news, so who is in the right in this great dialectical disaster? Is it, as I think, is it Cher and Cher Mike, love your fellow man, and all wear a your jumpsuits while we're going to the public farm growing potatoes, or kill or be killed, crush the weak, and starve the poor, as my wonderful wife thinks. You decide, or let us decide for you. Give us a call, and let my wife, a professor in social Darwinism, or me, a lecturer in pointless anthropology, Exactly. That's the problem with liberals. They don't know when to shut up and enjoy freedom. Let's go to the farm. 